An old power plant boiler is getting a second life as a home for fish. WKRG News 5's Caroline Carruthers shows us how this artificial reef project is growing the Gulf Coast. Day breaks over the Gulf of Mexico as this team heads offshore. That zone is seven and a half mile, uh, excuse me, eight miles south of Dolphin Island, kind of towards the west end. And it is about an eight square mile area where we put in the 29 artificial reefs. Two hours by boat gets us to the drop zone for the final artificial reef. The reef that's going in today is made of old boilers and those boilers have reached the end of their useful life. 29 different pieces of machinery like this and concrete pipes sunk now make up the Alabama Wildlife Federation nearshore artificial reef zone. The old equipment donated by Alabama Power and other partners. There was some retrofits that actually had to happen to that equipment and we've been working over the past few months to make that happen and to receive the necessary permits that we need to place the reef. AWF here to make sure it's all safe for the environment. Alabama Power employees use their love of fishing to spearhead this project, dropping the first and now the last reefs of this mission. Now this barge behind me is actually 150 feet long and it is carrying the 125,000 pound boiler turned fish habitat that's going to be dropped right now in the Gulf of Mexico. Two tugboats and lots of water sends this fish hotel straight to the bottom. The Gulf floor here is really flat, so these artificial reefs provide structures for fish to hide out, feel safe, and feed. What actually doing is we're uh, improving the marine fishery and the ecology and the habitat within that zone. It will certainly provide great places to fish, but at the same time, it will help build the whole marine ecosystem in the process. And it excites people who catch the fish to more hot spots to drop a line. Another way companies come together in growing the Gulf Coast. Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5. It took them 14 months to outfit all of that old equipment and install the 29 artificial reefs.